Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, nor be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not, that when I was yet with you I told you these things? And now we know what withholdeth, that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work, only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs, and lying wonders, and with all deceitfulness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned, who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. There certainly is a day of judgment, even on this earth. Those that are called, those that are faithful, and have been ordained to salvation before the foundation of the earth. This is commonly known as the elect, the elect of God. Jude says, writes to the elect lady, it's the bride of Christ. So those of us who are of the little flock, or of the holy seed, are of the elect lady, the bride of Christ, preparing ourselves to be without spot and wrinkle, that our garments be not spotted by the flesh as we repent and repair prepare for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ who is coming after the revelation the revealing of the Antichrist the man, the man of perdition so we're going to be here when that happens those of us that remain here and are alive shall be caught up together with Jesus when he meets us in the air and then he, along with all the saints and the angels, holy angels, will rule with a rod of iron upon all the ungodly and their ungodly deeds. And they shall bow, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord God Almighty. So, be ready, be combat ready to fight the good fight, to war good warfare. For our adversary the devil goes about as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith, the faith of Christ in his blood.